you just can't get enough? Can't get enough. What is it? This whole tell thing, me, how does this addiction work? You started it, you tell me. <laughs> it all started with just one tree. It all started with one tree. That's how it always starts. Yep, that's how it starts. It's the gateway, the gateway. Uh, drug or palm. Palm drug. Whatever, palm yep. drug. Yep. Yeah. You haven't seen this place in about four or five months? Yeah, let's give us the tour here. This right. is the famous well, Koye Banyas and Con Koye. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen our Craigslist special table there? Well, you know, that's how I live. I figure whatever you can't find on Craigslist for almost nothing, Yep. You generally can find on the side of the freeway eventually. Yeah. I find <laughs> stuff. <laughs> but this is great. How much did that cost you? 300 bucks. 300 bucks. That'll last forever. That's concrete, yeah. man. That'll outlast you. Sorry. There's the, there's the prince of the There house he is, there. man. Look at the prince at the palm tree entrance. This Dude, this place looks amazing, Doesn't man. it look good? Yeah, look, got the birds of paradise. Look at this. Got orange birds. Yep. Got the big birds. So... We are uh, in inland Contra Costa County, one of the coldest locations in all of Contra Costa. I won't say exactly where because you'll have so many groupies out here, you know, wanting to meet right. you and stuff. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but anyway, the point is, is that these bird of paradise, they're a little bit frost tender for just foliage burn. And you can see here, look, there we go. There's the foliage burn from the frost. But as soon as the frost is over, boom, you get explosive and growth. And the ones that made it through because they're kind of straight up. Yeah, yeah, the straight up. That's yeah. an interesting point. I, it took me years to figure that out. Yeah. Told, it only took you like... One winter. Yeah, one winter. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is he but saying? another example uh, right here. Yeah, so what's here. interesting is... These were flat. These got roasted. Yeah, the vertical foliage, the cold air slides right off of it, whereas the frost on oblique... Uh, bleak angled material to the sky, the frost will settle on it and it will cause a little bit of damage like this. Check but this out back here. these trees are so beautiful though that you can just trim back the, the junk and it'll look great by May or June. Starting to flower. Oh, yeah. oh, look at that. That's a big one too. That's a beautiful thing. That's gonna thing. be white, right? Yeah, white. it's gonna be white and blue. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, so we're, we're gonna piece together all these videos now. It's gonna be like an hour long video. It's starting to flower too. Oh yeah, get your little flower. That's actually a beautiful flower too. It is, the ones in the back are already yeah, Look at this, tropical paradise now. Dude, this yard, I can't, uh, it's too bad I didn't have a before shot of this yard. I can provide them. Oh yeah, okay, we'll, <laughs> we'll insert it. There's a year's worth of- No, seriously, I need a couple shots. So look at, this is so nice. It's so clean looking with uh, this upraised planter. So I think I gave you the idea to like raise the yeah, grade. You sure did. And that is to kind of like separate it from the street, from yep. your area to make it feel more contained. Yeah, and the other, got that effect. The other, so you see we lined the drive with queen palms pretty much everywhere. And, uh, and then out here we had a separation where we put in Guadalupe fan palms. These things will fill out and you won't see the street at all eventually. They'll just completely fill out and be a screen. And you did a really good choice of getting your little ferns. Those are, those will get, these will get like four feet tall. I think they'll, they're kind of getting blasted in the sun though. Those ones over there aren't doing so hot. Uh, they'll, the yeah, they'll fill in. Just give them a lot of water. Yeah. Uh, they'll handle it. And you got your focal point Mediterranean fan palm. Oh, man, that thing looks so good. And uh, yeah, so it's amazing what, uh, what, you know, get one palm and the next thing you know. These new uh, Guadalupe's have tons of, they're starting to grow more yeah. vigorously as you would say. During yeah, the so the deal is when you get your palms from me, they're gonna look all junky, kind of the way I look. Uh, from transport and shock and everything else. Once they've been in the ground for a few months, sequentially they'll get new foliage and the new foliage will be absolutely perfect looking yep. in comparison to the rank foliage of the plant that I sold you with, yep. I sold to you. So yeah, one, yeah. Uh... they'll only look better <laughs> with time, <laughs> That's right. unlike us. Uh, so uh, what else? Also the other really cool palm is uh, this uh, silver, date. silver date over here. What's the Latin name on that? That's called Phoenix Sylvestris. Phoenix Sylvestris. Yeah, and I love the parking lot over here. Yeah, isn't that nice? Yeah, it sure is. You know. So, um, all right. So yeah, should we should, should show them the, the back real quick? This the pineapple effect. Oh yeah, all right. Nice. A little bit. Yeah. Let's uh, let's go look at the back. Well, look at this before we go to the back. <laughs> I mean, come on. Is, it, is he gonna? Is your dad gonna give you that car when you get older? Because you're gonna be going to what Monta Vista. Maybe. What's the school yeah, down the street? He's gonna have a he's gonna have a '72 Honda Civic. Oh. <laughs> he's not gonna have any. Of these don't guys. you think? Don't you want grandchildren? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> At like 16 years old for him? Yeah, yeah that's true. That's actually I had none of that. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So let's see. You got your beautiful booty palm over here. 
Beautiful double. That's an incredible pot. Where'd you find a pot like that? That is that that Sonol uh, outlet. Oh, down there. Yeah. Okay, I've never been put in there. Some queens and some pots on the fence. And that there. looks good. That looks good. That now, one, now you got to put more water on that one. Now that brown fence is bugging me. I'm gonna have to stain that. Nah, thing. whatever. All right, here we go. Oh, look at all the growth on the avocados. Bada bang. Oh no way! No way! <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I totally forgot I gave you that. Oh, I had to make more of those, man. I got to give one of these to every single customer, and you can put it up some Such obvious spot uh but look how clean and i love the uh the trim job you did to the Thanks. overgrown fig did that myself so uh, wait till you see hopefully koi is going to give us some really good before photos because this was really a huge transformation got a nice clean play area in the back got all this new growth on the avocados oh look yeah. look there it is a little bit of frost damage yep little I wonder bit, how, but these things did yeah well. but look at what happens no yep. big deal right Last all right the back. buds are coming out so these trees could handle some frost. This one did pretty good too. It's already kind of yeah, it's budding out. This one's had some protection though. Yeah, that's true. Chris, want to show us some of the new growth? It's okay. Yeah. We walk back here all the time and look at all the new. And this is a Mexicola, right? Yep. So you can see the Mexicola is one of the hardiest avocados there is, uh, and uh, you can see there's absolutely no frost damage whatsoever. What was this one? Zero. I think that's a uh, hot. That's a hot. That's a hot. Okay. Yep. Are you sure? It looks like a avocado or a, a, a bacon. Oh, that's bacon. a bacon. Yeah, oh, okay. That's the hoss, I think. Oh, that's a hoss. Yep. That's a lamb hoss. Lamb hoss. Yeah, right. That gets more fruit, bigger fruit. Uh, bacon, and uh, yeah, that makes sense. These things are already six inches taller <laughs> since <laughs> crazy. We planted them. That's beautiful. Ham, that's got... going to be the hammock department right there. So this looks like it was designed by a really, really expensive landscape. What did you pay for the landscape design for this project? I think it was like a, a three to three four hundred bucks. Really? Roughly, yeah. How'd you do that? I don't know. Have to call you to find out. Wait, wait. <laughs> was I the sucker who took that three hundred fifty dollars to design this whole yard? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. You don't need a big elaborate plan. You just need a scratch from Gary Gregg, and this was what you can end up with. Look at the beautiful blue palm. Look at the waves of color in the blue palm. Beautiful. Ooh, that's gonna get prettier and prettier as time goes by. I think. I think uh, I was worried about this one shocking, and it didn't. It did not shock at all. Yeah. I kind of yeah. wish I would have planted this. This was my decision to plant it there, but I feel like it needs a better spot. It might be too late against the fence well, there. I don't know. It'll get big. Well, yeah. it's a little crunched, but I mean, it'll. Crunched. You won't notice the back of it. Yeah. See the front. I mean, it's kind of constricted in here. We moved those two Mexican fans back there. Oh yeah. The porch. These, and you've uh, got the beautiful alley of uh, of more. Uh, What's cool about this is that predominantly we went with really hardy plants where we had to or that we had full exposure. Yep. And then we went with some really cool tropical stuff where it would thrive. These are already flowering up there. All right. So this is a cool plant, but you're going to have to dump water on this thing for it yeah, to do well. I'm blasting it. Yeah, you got to blast it. In the summertime when it's like 100 degrees, you got to <laughs> blast it. Yeah. Um, you got the lounge chairs. Dude, it's so clean and beautiful. Wow. Way. Yeah, I got some heliconia. Oh, you've got the little court, the citrus courtyard in yeah. here. Look how clean that looks. I don't think you've seen this yet. We, we decided to, this was an old fence no, here. No, I haven't seen it. We knocked this down, made this part of the backyard. Good place to hide all the valves. Yeah. Um, yeah, so what are you going to do? Oh, dude. That's cool. <laughs> Why is that there? How come that's not displayed We're somewhere? We're going to put it somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, that's like the coolest thing in the property. Ongoing project. Um, yeah, so uh, let's keep moving along here. See what else we see. Uh, look at shaving look at. Brush is doing great. How about that shaving brush palm? New Zealand shaving brush palm. We planted it. We've had uh, one new. This one's oh. brand new right here. Oh yeah. We've got a new one coming up. Yeah, there's a new one. It's growing good. How long did these take? Somebody to snapped the top of this off. See I, that? You know what happened there? Is that? I was so it's gonna. It's just gonna be funny. It's gonna be like partial. I'm gonna have to ask my guy about that. Yeah, it looks like it was cut. I, well, I don't no, that was, was cut. cut. I, lo I looked at it real, real. Somebody had some sharp teeth because that's a pretty clean cut. <laughs> Maybe your guy thought it was like part of palm and he was gonna eat it for a salad for lunch. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, know man. I'm anyway. going to have to have Anyway, no big deal. Whatever. It'll just take a year for another one. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> they grow slow. I know. Uh, here's this Dan. So this is a tree that inspired me to be back today. Koi decided that he needed more of this beautiful tropical like ambiance. These look like full grown. They're, yeah. They really go out. They're Wait bushy. till you see the big one we got for you. And that other one's going to go. We're going to take this. Oh, that'll be good. That'll be right good. There, so they kind of meet up and just do it. That'll be more. good. Because yeah. those get fairly tall, don't they? And they grow quick. She's like just about crane it through here. I should crane it over here. That's what we should do. Get it right here. And make it real easy. Yeah, I think I can. Um, there's your queen, king palm making new foliage. Look at that. Yep. 
making all pretty. So again, here's the ugly foliage that we sell it to you as. You have to overlook that because <laughs> once you get it in your yard, boom, perfect foliage. Boom, yep. Perfect foliage. Look at that. Yeah. yeah, each one of these has had one or two new uh, spikes come out. That's awesome. So in this case here, we're in a really cold environment, but we have the redwoods above us. So these king palms have a really yeah, high can, canopy. Trimmed a bunch of these out. Oh, this I'm is even better. Well, no, this is good. Yeah, It'll give them light and room to really fill out. Okay, good. But it does open up the view to the garden next door. Looks like you, you guys are cutting some deals. I don't know what those are there. I think, I think that's, that's a peace offering. <laughs> a peace that's offering. what you call a peace <laughs> offering. Yeah. So this from thing is doing great. Got the big canary palm going. Trim these little med palms down to see more of the nice, trunk. Nice little bushy med palms. And then here's a cute little, this is, a, this is a tree. Did I tell you the story of this tree? No. <laughs> so I was doing a delivery in Alameda and uh, I was uh, backing my truck up <laughs> and I decapitated a street tree. You can see the decapitation mark right there. <laughs> it was a big stock. Oh, yeah. So I had to replace it. Luckily, I already had one in my yard that somebody wanted to get rid of, and I dug up. So I'm like, oh, I got one of those. So I brought it back and planted it. Then I took this one back to the nursery, and when you cut the top off of a lollipop tree like that, it sprouts into a multi-trunk, and the rest is history. And now you have beautiful, fragrant magnolia flower. They are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, see? And so in the end, it didn't cost me anything to destroy their tree. No. Yeah, but it just kind of swapping, bought, swapping think, around. And then you sold it to me. Yeah, <laughs> see, yeah. <laughs> I had a uh, banana, red banana there, but the, uh, I had a mole problem and they chopped it down. Oh, geez. You got the roots. Um, you got your Dorianthus right there. The red, all that, what was that, red grass? Oh, yeah, that'll go. Yeah, you got to cut that down in the winter yeah, and then it comes back up. Um, but this is this is a Dorianthus. That's a really, really cool is thing. Is that thing going to get big? It will. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then another bird. And then here's your beautiful... Uh, Charisia in Cygnus, uh, Seba in Cygnus. Uh, Last week, this thing had no leaf and just exploded. Yeah, that's what they do this time here. It's got that beautiful do chartreuse green. They do. They get incredible flowers. What in, time of the year? In October, November, when nothing else is They might burning. have to be a little bit more mature than this, yeah. this tree. Yeah, they, they, they need a few years to, to really mature out. And that is pretty much the video. Any last words, Koi? Last words, I'm just grateful that we crossed paths, man. <laughs> yeah, this it's been was fun. The, this was the result. So if you're a customer that's cool enough, like Koi, you get invited on Gary's surf trip, which he turned <laughs> me down for. Hey, I got two of those little guys. I got to watch out for I them. know, I know. I know the story. Cruising. I finally... Say, say bye. All right. Say goodbye. Here we go. Give him a thumbs up. Woo! Thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs <laughs> up. Woo!